this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. 13 firearms stolen and about three to four thousand rounds of ammo. We had uh, three pistols stolen, two shotguns stolen, and eight rifles stolen. 13 firearms of different calibers, makes, and models, along with cameras, laptops, and cash. $25,000 vanished overnight. Jump to a notification on his phone saying his car alarm had gone off. He quickly looked out the window. All the contents that were had any kind of worth pretty much were gone. I don't want anyone to get hurt or I don't want any friends to be committed with these guns. The veteran says their SUV wasn't the only one hit. He says at least four other cars parked near him were also broken into last night. What up? This is this Channel Guns coming at you with some more ammo news, people. Appreciate it if you found the channel. Appreciate the support. Also, appreciate the new people in the 2 community. We're going to need in the long run. Shout out to everybody um, who smashed that like button, shared on your favorite social media platform. And also, support your two-way challenge, your gun challenge. We need all the help we can. Another shout out to y'all in the comment section. And a huge shout out to y'all that come on here every single day through the getting the bad ups and downs. Nothing moves in a straight line, people. So, coming with you some more ammo news, people, just to let you know. Ammo theft is still huge out there. This is another way that people getting ammo and stuff. So 13 guns, 1,000 rounds of ammo stolen out of a hotel parking lot. Now, you've seen, um, you know, some of the news and stuff about what I'm talking about and stuff like that. This is the type of stuff that we've been talking about, people. I'm talking about, you know, um, areas that's getting broken into, cars and stuff like that. I'm talking about, you know, you have thieves who are just trying to be lucky and look up. They hit a huge stash of ammo and firearms that's out there. Who knows who got them? But, you know, you notice that, you know, if you were listening, this hotel here, um, for what I was seeing, constantly get broken into as far as cars and stuff at the parking lot and stuff like that. But you would think this hotel will let people know, stand there, that, hey, they constantly have cars broken into. But obviously that this person didn't know and stuff. So these are the type of things that's, that you need to find out, you know, you know, when you're staying at a hotel, especially when you got um, stuff like that, you know, ammo and guns and stuff like that. You need to know these type of things. But, you know, as you can see, you know, right here, uh, three to 4,000 rounds of ammunition was stolen out of the SUV and stuff. Uh, you know, some, you know these, these type of things is always happening. And you don't know where you're, what area you're in and stuff like that, especially if you're traveling and going different types of places. I see articles like this all the time. And, you know, even if you have car alarms, people, I'm talking about thieves really don't care. Don't take them long. I'm talking about it depends on the area. And if this hotel constantly have vehicle break-ins and they have not stopped it yet, I'm talking about these, these are very comfortable in this area and stuff. So... A lot of ammunition is being spread around, and who knows where this ammo and stuff is at in the firearms and everything. But this is something that I tell people all the time. I was looking at an article just recently where a car was broken into, you know, at one of the retailers and had ammo and stuff in it, had guns and stuff in it. I'm talking about, you know, easy picking for these people. I'm talking about they're looking for to, to find these like the high items that they look to find ammo and firearms. And anything else they can find in there. So um, when you're having this type of stuff in your vehicle, people, you have to lock it up. Get you some type of um, vehicle safe for your firearms and stuff. You know, don't make it easy. A lot of people come up with excuses and stuff, you know, that, hey, you know, where, you know, I don't keep it in there much. Um, nobody knows I got it. But when you having thieves that are just hitting up cars and luckily that they're finding some type of stuff, this is what's happening. And, you know, this stuff probably, uh, to my, these firearms and ammo probably done cross state lines and gone who knows where. Uh, to my, I have talked about a lot of this stuff. You got the farm traffickers and all this kind of stuff, ammo traffickers and everything. But they were, this was a jackpot for them. I'm uh, talking about, <laughs> this was a jackpot. This stuff, who knows what they're going to do with it. But it's in the wrong hands, um, someone that shouldn't have it. But like I said before, people, protect your firearms and your ammo. And I want to share this article to let you know that, you know, your vehicle um, is not one of the safest places to keep this type of stuff, um, you know, even if it's temporary. So, you know, you have to be on top of this and everything. They didn't see this coming. A lot of people don't see a lot of stuff coming. But at the same time, 
you must be aware when you got this type of stuff in your vehicle where you're at and stuff like that so just want to bring this to your attention people ammo theft is happening firearm theft is happening so this is dc channel guns and i catch you on the next one this is dc channel guns like and subscribe thank you for watching